This thing is very old. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello guys, I have this uh washing machine. It's uh it was built in 2006. It's quite old, but uh we've been uh, it's been doing its job. Lately, the uh the agitator is uh is not working properly uh it's it, it spins but when once they are closing their water and it, it's uh yeah it does not uh, spin uh, as uh as much so we're going to figure out uh, what is wrong with it okay so is here that's not its uh, proper place i had to move it out of the uh laundry room and put it in a uh, big area here so i can uh uh, work properly one is an uh, admiral but again uh, the me the mechanism to uh, work these are pretty much the same if you have a uh, top a top loader and uh, I've done some work to it in the past but this this time it's just the uh, agitator but uh, if in case you want to uh, open this up I've already uh, uh, pry it open but uh, yeah with the uh, screwdriver you can actually put the screwdriver down here flat screwdriver and then you push it up and this will uh, pop up uh, open where you can actually move it uh, like this okay so that gives you a lot more room to work this this is the agitator when you look look at it you don't see any screws and you might wonder uh, how this thing get in there but again uh, there's a, a way okay just uh, see I force it open first but uh, okay you see just like this okay and then to take this apart there's a uh, uh, a bolt in there so you will need uh, a socket and uh, with a with a long handle all right, so I have some uh, combination. Uh, you see, that's the extension, and the, okay, and the socket, and you just place it in there. Okay, it's the right size, and then you just go ahead and uh, you need a little bit of uh, elbow grease, and it's out. And make sure we don't lose the uh, we don't lose we don't lose the bolt. All right, so uh, this is uh, the bolt and that's the uh that's the other part i would probably say female or male okay so this is the the inside so that's that this is the bottom part okay and uh so this part here can come off easily the that's the one and then this is uh the inside so it is quite possible the the problem is not here it's probably uh yeah on yeah under this thing here so uh, in order for me to uh access the bottom part so i have to uh take the uh the front uh the, that front cover off so it is uh held by uh two uh two screws so uh, and then so now see it's out so it's the same same goes for each panel there are four panels it uh, four panels you see one two and then the three in the back and then the fourth one or the first one i just removed and so now we have uh access to the uh to the uh, bottom part so i'm going to tilt it uh forward here is the uh the motor and then here is the uh mechanism so let me tilt it forward well folks uh i tilt it back instead of forward it makes more sense so here this is for the uh the uh, spin uh cycle for the drum okay that's the pulley for the drum and then here that's the pulley for the uh the motor and then here is the pulley for the uh the wa the water pump so remember i said the uh the agitator is not spinning and so once i flipped it or uh, flipped it uh backward back and i see see look here's the problem 
there are too much uh, too much play you see this there's too much play the uh, the motor the motor is really uh, it, it moves freely all right so let's figure out how to uh, how, how to secure the the motor I don't know if it's the motor or the uh, this part here no this the, no the issue is right here too much play see too much play too much play okay so I have I found the uh, the culprit since okay I, I, my suspicion like I showed you earlier it's uh, it's right here so there's too much play on the uh, the motor so here's what happened they did it on purpose there are two uh, two, two this, the motor is supposed to be uh, held by three three screws see one here one here so that's two and then they're supposed to have one on the uh, as a triangle on this side here see but that's not what they did they didn't put a screw instead they put uh, a sticky tape or some type of adhesive you see an adhesive to hold it on this uh, on this end to hold it here see so now what happened is after uh, 17 years but I don't know how long because this thing's been making a lot of noise the uh, the tape see it doesn't the glue it the, the glue was uh no longer uh, good so as a result this thing uh it becomes loose so it's only being held on uh, just uh, one side so that's why you have so much play because there's nothing here to hold it to hold. well i i come up with an ingenious idea to uh secure the uh yeah, this plate chain. So I use, uh, see, a metal uh, uh, metal hanger. Okay, so I put two, both ends together, and then just go ahead and uh, tie them up at the at the bottom. So that way, the this plate is uh, is uh, is secure. Spin spins. But uh, the play is not as brutal as it, as it was. So, yeah, there's still some play. Of course, there's supposed to be some play. But it's not uh, vibrating uh, violently. So, now what I'm going to do, I, uh, I will uh, connect it and put it on the uh, spin cycle and see what we got. Of course, it's going to spin, but uh, the main test will be once there is water and clothes in it to see uh, how it comes out. Yes, this is it. This is how it works. Yes, this is it. See that? is looking okay now it's a little bit quieter all right so putting it back together and this is the uh, the last piece of the agitator okay and have to uh, push yeah, yeah to push it push it in and kind of yeah make it tight and after that I'll just go and put that uh, panel back and then drag it inside put water and close and test it. Now I have to make it go through uh, that door.
lots of work.